On February 1st, 2002, in addition to taking some swabs from the vehicle itself, you also mentioned that you took swabs of what you believe to be blood evidence uh, contained in uh, six solo cups, correct? Yes, I noted those as frozen red-brown stains in, in red cups. Uh, the solo cups make an appearance. The six solo cups. Okay, so now we're going to test for blood in the six solo cups. All right, cool. How'd you go about doing that? Were those solo cups in any way labeled among themselves? In no. other words, solo cup one, two, three, four. I don't believe they were, but I don't have a photograph of that, so I'm not 100% sure. You did not thereafter label those solo cups. If they hadn't been done beforehand, you did not undertake that to, <laughs> to label those solo cups, correct? No, I did not label them. Did you? The solo cups were unlabeled, which we've noted before, and the lab technician doesn't take the time to label them herself. So they're just six solo cups indiscriminate from one each other that sounds like normal lab procedure right it's there's no particular reason to know which cup it came from because those cups might have different qualities to them because remember they're not particularly sanitized in any way these are off the shelf solo cups the same ones you might drink beer out of so there's no particular reason to believe that all six are identical when it comes to a biological perspective they might have different contaminants. They might have been handled differently. They might have gone through slightly different processes at the factory. Who knows how they do it at the Solo Cup factory? I don't know the finer points of it, but to assume that every single cup is necessarily biologically identical for the purposes of a criminal lab test is one hell of an assumption. But we're not going to label them in any way so that we can you know, tease that out if we need to. Okay, so we have no idea... What blood is coming from what cups? That doesn't sound important in any way. Holy <laughs> Lord. <laughs> How did you take those swabs? Was the swab done in one solo cup or did you take a swab from all six or how did you take those, those swabs that you ultimately did take? I took those swabs from one solo cup. Uh, how did Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, let me make sure I understand. There are six solo cups. They all have snow slash maybe blood in them. And we need to determine what is in the cup. And what we're going to do is we're going to test one of the six cups. Not all six, just one. Just one of the six. Okay, uh, all right. That sounds, again, like perfectly perfectly normal Sh sure let's let's just test one of the six how did you choose which of the six solo cups you were going to take a swab from i don't recall exactly how i chose which cup i it was reported to me that those cups came from the same area of red brown staining so i you, know, you make an assumption that they're all related it came from from what i was told it came from one area of red brown stain at the scene and you i i'm sorry i'm sorry did you the lab technician just use the word assume? Did you, the lab technician, just use the word assume? How did you pick it? I don't know. I don't know. I just picked one at random because I assumed they were all the same. Wow. If only there was some sort of place where you might go to test those kinds of assumptions, some sort of expert who might be involved in some sort of processing of criminal data who could be employed for the purpose of such tests to test those assumptions. I wonder what kind of person that would be. <laughs> of course, no, as a forensic criminalist that bloodstains can, can contain multiple contributors, correct? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. You don't know as you sit here mm -hmm. which blood stain found at the scene uh -huh. related to which solo cup in the bag, correct? Uh -huh. Objection. I'll allow it. No, it was my understanding they were all taken from the same stain. But I oh, was it's my there. understanding. From that's good news. Stain, or stain, excuse me. It was my understanding they were all taken from the same stain. Okay. If they, in fact, were taken from multiple stains, you would have no way of knowing that as you sit here. That's correct. Uh-huh. 
because I didn't bother to check. And ultimately, once you did take that um, swab from that single solo cup, <laughs> what did you do with the rest of the of that blood evidence? I left that with the Canton Police Department. Good, good. So uh, we are we are literally doing Russian roulette over here. We are literally doing Russian roulette. Let's just spin the barrel and one of six chambers will pop up. And that surely is the same as all the chambers. So there's no further need to look in any of the other five because what's true for one is true for five because I was told by somebody somewhere that they all came from the same scene or the same stain. I was told that. And so I, you know, just relied on that and didn't in any way bother to check. Just, you know, spin the barrel, whichever one is, whichever one will be fine. I'm sure they're all the same. I'm sure there's no reason to check. Was there any of the swab? By the way, I, I should ask this. I've been saying swabs. Was there one swab taken of that one solo, from that one solo cup, or were there multiple swabs taken? There were two swabs taken. Of those two swabs, did you seek to do DNA testing, or was DNA testing done on either one of those or both of them? DNA testing was not done on those swabs. So as we What? What? You didn't DNA test the blood? from the swabs you took from the solo cup. You didn't DNA test it. So you don't know whose blood it is. What? We sit here now, there's been no DNA confirmation of what the, who those, uh, who that blood relates to, I should say. There was no testing done on it at all. And so therefore we would not know if there were multiple contributors to those stains or that, that swab that you took from that single solo cup. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's not important in any way. I mean, it's not like it could be more than one person's blood somehow. It might, it's, it's, you know, it's in an open field, basically. It's on a person's lawn. So, you know, it's not like it could be anyone else's blood or something else. You know, we're just going to assume it's blood from the victim, although we didn't DNA test it or apparently test it in any other way. So it's mystery blood. This is the state crime lab. And they apparently don't DNA test the blood to figure out whose blood it is or whether it's more than one person's blood. They're, they're apparently content with the mystery. I'm beginning to sense why she might have failed some of her earlier testing. And again, the remainder of all of that solo cup, as well as all the other five solo cups, was retained by Canton Police at the Canton Police Department in the control of the lead investigator, Michael Proctor. Correct? Yep. I don't know who was in control of it once I returned it to the Canton Police Department. Yep. Who did you return it to at the Canton Police Department? Whom, I should say. I believe I gave it to a Canton Police officer. I don't know um, which officer that was. Michael Proctor was. What do you mean you don't know? What do you mean you don't know which officer you gave it to? Wouldn't that be part of the standard chain of custody? Shouldn't that be documented? Who it was given to? What do you mean you don't know? Who took possession of it? What are you doing over there when it comes to chain of custody issues? Have you heard of chain of custody before? Wow. <laughs>